Are we dialed in yet? Yeah. Hit Sound it. check. Sibilance. Sibilance. One, two, one, two, one, 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 seven, 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 seven. Check, check. People profess perspectives. More gain. More. More. Ha, ha. Check, 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 one, check, two, check, check, no. Probably, possibly, possibly, probably, boys build bomb baked Buddhas. Shouldn't she shoot shit shortly? Pibby pabby puppy, pibby pabby puppy, pibby pabby puppy, bibby babby bubby, bibby babby bubby, bibby babby bubby, wibby wabby wubby, wibby wabby wubby, wibby wabby wubby. Tell Tony Trees talk, tell Tony Trees talk, tell Tony Trees talk. Check, 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 one, check, two, check, check. Down a bit, but work it close. Closer, closer. Okay, we're set. I think we're good. I think we sound good. Okay, I'm gonna do three more. Three, I'm gonna three. Uh, here's, this is a very short one. This is a very short piece. It's a very short poem. This is called and yeah, these are poems, you can call them poems, but we didn't want to necessarily kill the party with poetry, so I'm just doing a performance. Yeah, this is called I Am My Own Worst Critic. I am my own worst critic. I don't write poems about God because every time I write anything, whether God reads it or not, God always says, oh, that's really nice, Tony, and I hate people like that. Um, okay, two more. Yeah, that's two down, one left, uh, two more. Um, this is something I wrote today. I was actually inspired to write an occasional poem. That's a poem for an occasion, which I don't always do because I don't always feel moved by an occasion. But uh, I was in the laundromat when you called and I was working on it when you called and I was at the laundromat doing laundry, so. Um, and this doesn't have a title because it's, uh, it's hot off the, hot off the printer. New? What's that? Is that new? It's brand new today, N newly minted today. Um, but it's it's inspired. So I'm just well. Never mind. You'll you'll get it. Uh, but it has no title. <clears throat> Leaving is not the hard part. You rent a truck and pack it up and go. Living can be a box taped shut or shipped and shipped away. The way a neighborhood is a collection of people boxed up in houses. The way a book is a block of paper or a receptacle for knowledge. We are all fragile shipping containers, armored and armed to the teeth at our borders. We do not truck with tourist camera flashes or slumming grad student hipster attitudes in our own hometowns. Yes, we are from around here, or were, or will be if we stay and keep the good stuff on the top shelf or in a chest under lock and key. Absence itself is a heart that pumps slow with malignant melancholy or thumps fast with hot, sweet anticipation. But leaving is not the hard part. Everything grows smaller in the rear view, in the rear view, like it could all fit in the palm of your hand. Pets pine away their whole lives for master's return, while humans don masks of stone and cover their concern. Meanwhile, life collects like moments housed in a museum named I Remember When. The placards display all you need to know, but are no substitute for making artifacts with your own two hands. Leaving is not the hard part. It's a matter of money and means, and ends with a beginning and arrival. It begins with a celebration. Leaving is easy. It ends with the last letting go. Um, and, uh, all right. That's it. That's three down. That means, that means, it's the last one. Uh, and this is, uh, this, uh, this is a poem that I wrote um, for the, let me, me wet my whistle first. Those of you who have been here for long enough to remember 2004 and the, uh, the 17 year cicadas that came through, um, which deeply affected me because I'd never, uh, hadn't seen it since uh, the last time they came through 17 years <laughs> earlier. So um, I, pinned a little, uh, I pinned a little love song for them. And this is called uh, Cicada Blues, Chorus 10 and 17. Ooh, love to love you, baby. Ooh, love to love you, baby. Ooh, love to love you, baby. I will come back for you, baby. 
Maybe 17 years from tonight, but I will come for you. Up from the ground through a hole this big, and I'll crawl. I'll crawl across the lawn, baby. Drag my freshly hatched ass over sidewalks and quiet city streets just to get you to come to me. I'll climb the most convenient tree I find and shed this hard, crusty exterior and back out of my pupil state. And when I'm dry and strong enough and I unfurl my clear wings, I will call to you, call to you, call to you, call to you. And I hope you'll hear me among the million brothers in this humble acre, alone, vying for your attention and that you'll come to me. Come to me now, baby. Please don't make my soul wait in the cold ground another 17 long years. Come land on my beach branch and we'll make sweet butt-to-butt -butt love and place our progeny within the spent sapling soiled pulp under a heavy haze of June on a long lost Indiana afternoon and then together we'll die. Ooh, love to love you baby. Ooh, love to love you, baby. Thank you.